गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन नाउ वी नो हाउ टू सॉल्व अ लीनियर इक्वेशन बट यू नो इफ द इक्वेशन इज नॉट इन लीनियर फॉर्म वी कैन ऑल्सो रिड्यूस अ गिवन इक्वेशन टू लीनियर फॉर्म एंड देन सॉल्व इट सो लेट अस सी हियर वी हैव इक्वेशन z प्लस फिफ्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय z इज इक्वल टू थ्री बाय फोर नाउ इज दिस अ लीनियर इक्वेशन नो वाई If you see the expression on left hand side that is z plus 15 by z is not a linear equation but you know we can reduce this equation to the linear form let us see now let's try to reduce it to the linear form z plus 15 by z is equal to 3 by 4 first we multiply both the sides by z you may ask why we need to do that this is because if we multiply both the lhs and the rhs by z then we'll see this can be simplified as z in the denominator would go off so let's do it z multiplied by z plus 15 divided by z is equal to z multiplied by 3 by 4 let's simplify this so the z z gets cancelled and what are we left with we are left with z plus 15 is equal to 3z by 4 or you can say 3 by 4z it's the same thing next we do the cross multiplication to simplify this and what do we do then this here we can say the denominator is 1 and we'll do the cross multiplication so here the lhs would be multiplied by 4 which was the divisor here and 1 which is the divisor here would become the multiplicand here so we would get on the rhs 3z multiplied by 1 so 4 multiplied by z plus 15 is equal to 3z multiplied by 1 if you notice we have put brackets here which means 4 needs to be multiplied by both z and also 15 so let's do it we get 4z plus 4 multiplied by 15 becomes 60 equal to 3z next if you see this equation is in linear form why because z has only the power which is equal to 1 now let's solve it because we already now know how to solve a linear equation here we have 4z plus 60 is equal to 3z again what we should do subtract 3z from both sides why we are just following that to simplify we should bring the variable on one side so if we subtract 3z from both the sides what do we get 4z plus 60 minus 3z is equal to 3z minus 3z 4z minus 3z becomes z and plus 60 we bring it down and on the rhs what do you see 3z minus 3z equal to 0 Next, what do we do? We subtract sixty from both the sides, so that z is there on the left hand side alone, with no other constant on the side. So, z equal to minus sixty. How? Z plus sixty minus sixty becomes z as sixty minus sixty cancel each other, and when we subtract sixty from zero, we get Zero minus sixty, which is equal to minus sixty on the RHS. So here we see we get the solution, which is z equal to minus sixty. Again, we will check if we got the right answer or not. So putting the value of z in the given equation, the equation is z plus fifteen by z is equal to three by four. Let's put z equal to minus sixty. 
So putting the value, what do we get? Z replaced by minus 60 plus 15, bring it down, divided by Z. So divided by minus 60 is equal to 3 by 4. Solving it, what do we get? Minus 60 plus 15 becomes minus 45 and minus 60 as is on the LHS. On the RHS, we already have 3 by 4. Simplifying this further, minus minus gets cancelled and 45 by 60 can also be reduced. So here we get 15 3s are 45 and 15 4 is a 60. So you see 3 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4. So, LHS equal to RHS and we got the solution. So, now you know how to reduce a given equation to the linear form. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.